Hi, and welcome to HUDKeen.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Santa Fe, Texas. Santa Fe is located sort of on the south uh, east side of Houston, going towards Galveston, and we are in the Alta Loma Outlots. We're standing in front of 5417 Avenue R. That's 5417 Avenue R. This is a pretty nice little three-bedroom, one-bath home approximately 1,393 square feet. It was built in 1960. The home sits on a very large 39,000 square foot corner lot, so it's a really big lot. The home is actually about $27,000 underneath the county appraisal and it is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. The exterior of this home is a combination of aluminum siding as well as brick. It has a two-car garage, and exterior-wise, in pretty decent condition. It could stand to be power washed. You'll notice on some of the aluminum siding and on the brick, there is some mildew. And that's usually caused by you know, high moisture and when homes are kind of shaded, it allows mildew to grow. Um, so it could use a little power washing, maybe some touch-up paint, but it's pretty decent condition on the exterior. Like I said, it's on a huge corner lot. I really like the lot. It's just shy of an acre. So if you're looking for a home that's not particularly big, because it is only three bedrooms, uh, so you don't need a big home, but you want some space. This home has a lot to offer. Now it does appear to sit a little bit low. Not sure if you can see, but when it rained pretty heavily recently in the grass here, you'll notice there are some clippings that have probably just kind of settled when uh, it rains heavily. You'll see that there's a little irrigation channel right up front here that drains some of the water away. But it's this nice elevation. I like this big tree here. I like how the ivy is growing on the brick. I think that's pretty pretty neat. You might need to repair a few pieces of the siding. If you look at the aluminum soffit here and fascia, it's a little bit damaged, but that's pretty easy to address. So let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, one of the ways to get into the backyard is off of this six, uh, little living room off the back. They have these double doors. And there's another way to get into the backyard, which is over here off of the garage. I do want to show you some of the uh, aluminum siding here. You can see it's damaged. So you might want to repair that. And then if we look at the yard, there is a little bit of pooling water in some of it. So you might want to consider, if you buy this home, installing some kind of a, maybe a French drain system that might help divert some of this water. You can see that the home does sit up pretty high. They built this nice wooden deck here that is up off uh, above the ground. And you can see some grass here that has sort of settled from when it rained. But exterior-wise, like I said, in decent condition, just a little bit of touch-up paint, maybe adjust a few pieces of the aluminum siding, repair a few pieces. Let's take a look at the inside of the home. Well, when we step in, we have this kind of like a little formal living room right up front. This may have been the original living room because it looks like they put an addition on the back, but this room has an engineered wood floor that you probably want to replace. In fact, you're probably going to want to replace all the flooring in the home and repaint everything. It could probably stand to have new windows installed, but these are okay. They do look original, but you know it's always nice to have new windows if you want to go to that expense. Continuing in, we have your dining room here. Now, one neat thing about the dining room is they have this huge updated countertop here, which you could put stools there and actually use this countertop as part of a dining area. You have ceramic tile in the kitchen, and we have your kitchen here with a decent amount of cabinetry, decent amount of countertop space. And then we have this garage here, this door. Now, I believe the garage was probably an addition. And the reason I say that is you can see that there's exterior brick here. This is probably the outside, but they, I believe they constructed this garage after the fact. But this is a very, very big two-car garage. I'm not sure if this will give you an idea of how big it is, but this is just a really big garage space, almost like the size of a three-car garage. And it does appear to have a water softening system here, which is kind of nice. Let me pan back and show you how big this garage is. Really nice. Looks like they had a TV up here. This door takes you to your backyard. And then your laundry uh, connections will be here, your washer and dryer connections. It is set up for an electric uh, dryer, and your water heater is there. Now we come in, there's some damaged flooring here in the kitchen area, as you can see. 
And then we come over, this part here may be an addition as well, but this is really like your family room here at the back of the home. The reason why I think this was potentially an addition is because you'll notice how they've got the brick here again. So there were probably double doors that took you out to the backyard here. They poured a slab and made this large family room here, which is pretty nice actually. There is a little bit of damaged uh, baseboard here. It looks like potentially from some wood destroying insects, maybe some uh, carpenter ants or potentially termites. Uh, one neat thing about HUD homes, and maybe some agents don't know this, but if you buy a HUD home with an FHA loan, HUD will inspect it for wood destroying insects, and if they're there, they'll pay to treat it only with an FHA loan. So we come over down the hallway here. We have bedroom number one right up at the front of the home. Not a terribly big bedroom, maybe about a 10 by 10 that needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Continuing down the hallway into the right here, we have bedroom number two. Same thing with bedroom number two. Not a particularly big bedroom. It's going to need some flooring and painting. And then we have bedroom number three here. Again, not a large bedroom. This would probably be considered the master. It's about the largest of the three. And then right next to this bedroom is where we have your one and only bathroom. And they actually modified this bathroom. They put a huge shower in here. So as you can see, a very, very large shower, but pretty much a basic bathroom, but really all you need. Single vanity, commode, ceramic tile on the floor. This would be easy to redo this bathroom. And that's about it. As I said, the home is about $27,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 5417 Avenue R. That's 5417 Avenue R in Santa Fe, Texas. A very nice three-bedroom, one-bath home. Approximately 1,393 square feet is, is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive, and it's listed right now for only $142,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.